You may remember Deputy Brad Sullivan, who nearly lost his life in the line of duty back in September of 2019. Edgar Egbert shot Sullivan multiple times in the head after a police chase in Canton. Well, now his brothers in blue are leading the charge to help build a home for Sullivan to accommodate his needs. Deputy Sullivan's injuries left him with paralysis on the left side of his body. His current home can't accommodate his physical limitations. On Monday, construction workers broke ground on Deputy Brad Sullivan's new home and floor, all with accessibility in mind. Through God's grace, doors opened. Um, Bruce Kirkland with the Jackson Home Builders Association approached us um, with, without even kind of promoting the idea of that, that this was in the works. He came to us and said, hey, we want to help with whatever Brad needs. Be able to go in my son's room with him that I can't do now and uh, actually go in there and sit down and talk to him in his room, help him get in the bed, tuck him in, and, uh, you know, play a game or something with him in his bedroom. That, that would be big because I can't even get into it. Can't even get into his room. Now. Well, the home is being built in stages because it's funded solely through community donations. To build Brad Sullivan's home in its entirety, they need to raise $275,000. If you'd like to give, you can find a link to his GoFundMe page on our website, WJTV.com.